I'm a professional hairstylist and I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about the Bedhead Three Barrel Curling Iron, also known as a waver. I really like this one because it has this lock right here. If you clamp it down and put the lock on, it doesn't open. I don't use this feature on my hair because I don't want it to burn, but it's really convenient whenever you travel. On the side, you have a quick on and off switch, and you also have a low to high temperature set. I use mine somewhere in the middle because I have fine hair. With this, you can get tight waves if you leave it on longer and take smaller pieces of hair, or you can get looser waves by leaving it on less amount of time, turning the heat down, taking bigger sections of hair, things like that. So this would be an example of a tighter wave. What I like to do with my hair is whenever I line up the barrel with the last barrel that I did. So, for example, this right here is the last barrel that I did. So I wanna make sure that I put the clamp in that spot right there. Otherwise, I'll show you what it does. Like if you move it right there, for example, it'll redo that previous wave and it'll flatten it out. And that's not what you want because it was going up, now it's going down, so it made it neutral. I don't put a lot of science into it. In the front, I generally do it pretty quickly because I don't want it really, really tight like this. I would rather have it more loose. And I also like to leave the tail out because it gives that beach wave look. And this iron does not take long at all to heat up. I would say under 60 seconds. It's important to get a hot tool with the temperature setting. Otherwise, on off, you don't have any idea what that temperature setting actually is, and it might be too hot or too cold for your hair, wasting your money. That's why I really like the temperature setting on this bedhead waiver. 